This short video shows how to configure a bookmark toolbar for Sitka's Evergreen. You can use Chrome's bookmark feature to set up a toolbar with staff client shortcuts. First, you will need to configure Chrome to display the bookmarks bar. So in your Chrome web browser, click on Menu and select Bookmarks and Show Bookmarks Bar. This will enable the bookmarks bar. I would suggest that you first add a bookmark to the staff client login page. Um, so navigate to the staff client login page and you can click on the little star to bookmark the page. When you click on the star, you'll get a quick menu option for the bookmark. Um, you can give it a name. So we'll call this one login and we want it to be on the bookmarks bar. So we'll just call this done. And you can see that now we have a link to the login page. I will also recommend that you add a bookmark for the offline circulation module to any workstation that is going to be used for circulation transactions, just in case you uh, go offline. So we'll navigate to the offline interface. And again, use the little star to create a bookmark. And we'll just leave this one named offline and leave it on the bookmarks bar. And now you can see we have login and offline. And we'll click login and it takes us back to the login page. Now you can also create bookmarks for any of the staff client interfaces. So I'm going to log in. And there's already the home link, um, but if you wanted to create a bookmark for home, you can just uh, click on the star and I will call this one splash page and leave it on the bookmarks bar. Now, um, more likely you'll want to add things for like the check-in screen. Um, so if you go to the check-in screen and uh, click on the star, you can call it check-in and it will add a bookmark to your bar. Now, once you have some bookmarks set up on here, you may want to manage or rearrange them. And um, there's a few different ways to do that. Uh, you can drag and drop um, your bookmarks right on the bookmarks bar. Um, so let's say we want to put offline at the end. Uh, if you decide that you've created a bookmark that you no longer want, you can right click on it and just delete it. For more advanced bookmark, options. Um, you can open the menu and select bookmarks and open the bookmark manager. From the menu button you can add new folders. And you can see now you have a folder here and then you can create bookmarks within that folder. I'll go back to my original tab and I want to add a uh, purchase order search uh, so for this one when I click the star I'm going to choose the acquisitions folder from the folder drop-down menu and I will call this PO search and then hit done and now you can see my PO search bookmark is listed under acquisitions Thank you for watching this video, and for more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.